Hey everyone, how are you all? Welcome back to my channel. I am going to do a five minute mum makeup routine with you. Although the video is longer than five minutes, this is what I do every day to feel done up but not use too many products. So I'm going to link all of the products down below and talk you through what I do. So as always, get your cup of tea, put your feet up and enjoy this video. So I have a completely bare face and annoyingly I have some little dry patches of skin which is causing a bit of discoloration. Um, I have prepped my skin with cleanse, tone and moisturiser and also I always have a little bit of fake tan on my face which I actually did yesterday because I just feel like your makeup goes on so much nicer and I look better with a tan on my face. So I'm just going to put my hair off of my face. I never know how to wear these things. This is actually Isla, so if she's watching this, she'll be like, get off my headband. Day has arrived where I can nick my stepdaughter's things. I'm sure that there'll be more of this in the future, and I'm sure it'll be the other way around too. Uh, but there is my prepped skin. So the first thing I'm going to start with, and this is new. I say it's new. I've been using it for about three months, but since I did another makeup video, is the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer in Illuminating. So they do a few different types and I've got barely any left. So I just use about this much and then dot it all over my skin and it just gives me that glowy base. I absolutely love this product. Um, one of my really good friends told me about it and it's one that I will continue to buy. You know, sometimes you buy products and you're like, well, that was no good. This is lovely, but you can't use too much. I've made the mistake of using too much and then in pictures, I just look like a big disco ball where my face is just glowing. Once I've done that, the next thing I do is my brows. Now, I'm sat on my bed doing my makeup, which I wouldn't normally do, but I just thought the lighting was better because there's a window right in front of me, so I thought it was best to show you my skin in the natural light. Um, so my eyebrow duo has been the same for years, and it is this rather ratty looking MAC eyebrow brush, which I absolutely love. I've had it for, honestly, I've had this for about six years probably could do with a new one. And then I used to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade, but I use the Primark pomade in the shade dark brown because it's just as good and it lasts forever. I've had this one for two to three years. Shape my brows with the brush, fill them in. It's a bit of one of those where you just like get used to it, but I'm gonna carry on doing my brows and then come back when they're done. So that's them done. Sometimes I set them with a gel, but sometimes I don't bother. If I'm in a rush, which I usually am, then um, I don't bother. So the next thing I'm gonna do is my foundation. Now, I have used this foundation. It's the MAC Studio Fix foundation. I've used it for years and years and years, but usually for a night out, because the shades that I had were quite on the warm side. And on a night out with a deep, fake tan it looks amazing but I felt it was too much for the day and then I had a bit of a brainwave the other day I was like I love the coverage I, I love the makeup that I've got on when I go out but it's too orange too like too in your face so I went back into MAC and I got a lighter shade and I'm loving wearing it so I'm using the shade NC20 you obviously have to go and get color match and I just use a fluffy random fluffy I think it's a powder brush to put my foundation on let me just move that back slightly so it doesn't go on the headband. And then I use about two pumps to start with and just literally spread it on. So if I wanted like a really full coverage, I would put a lot more on. But because this is just an everyday, day-to-day -day makeup look, one to two pumps is plenty. So make sure I cover my eyelid area under my eyes and also going down my neck because it's never the same colour, is it? But it just gets rid of... I've got a real pink red tone to my skin and it gets really irritated and really dry in the winter. So this is just perfect for me. Obviously, the older I'm getting, the bigger my pores are getting, but this just smooths... Can you see, like, it just smooths my skin out 
and the illuminating primer underneath it just gives it that little bit of a glow and I really like putting it on with a fluffy brush because I feel like you can just blend it all in it goes on so lightly and I just don't look caked at all so the next thing I'm going to do is highlight and conceal my under eyes I'm going to use the NARS uh, radiant creamy concealer in the shade light 2 which is vanilla again i've used this for a good couple of years now now i don't use a lot just a little bit there and there and then i do still do a little bit there and that's all i do i have such random brushes this is called a hd kabuki brush and it's kind of like tapered in a triangle shape can you see that um, and, and I just use that to um, blend it all in under my eye. I just want to look awake and ready for the day. And if I wasn't chatting to the camera, this honestly takes me between five and ten, I would say, which I don't think is very long. I don't always set my under eye, but I am going to for the purpose of this video because I think that it definitely lasts longer if you set your under eye. So I'm just using the Laura Mercier translucent powder which I've had for years and it lasts years as well so if you invest in it you'll you'll have it for a good few years so it's well worth it. I always put some on my eyelid as well because I feel like my eyelids get a bit I don't know oily so I just do that and then any excess I do just rub on areas that get a little bit oily but I don't like to put too much on because you can look a bit cakey if you have too much powder on, I think. The Iconic London Cream Contour Stick in the shade, and I don't know the shade because it's rubbed off because I've had it for so long, but this is the colour, so it's like a dark brown. And then I've got another random brush, which I think came from Primark. I'm really not up there with like really expensive brushes. And what I do is I kind of flatten the tip of this brush and rub it on the top. So I've got product on the end of the brush and I just contour using the brush because it gives me like a light contour not too heavy I feel like if you use the stick directly onto your skin and then you're like rubbing it to try and blend it in it it just ends up rubbing all your makeup off you look I personally think I look really cakey whereas this is really light it gives me that contour but it also stays nice and light so end of my nose, bottom of my chin, and then a little bit more just for the underside of my jaw, just to give it that snatched look if you want that, but you don't have to have that, of course. I then go on to my blusher and I use, like, this is a slightly bigger, it's the same style of brush, but slightly bigger. And I've got this cream uh, blush, which is a Trini London cream blush that I was gifted. And I just dab my brush in it and just, run the blush up my cheeks now this has got a um like a bit of a sheen to it so i don't actually use a highlighter monday to friday because i'm trying to this is trying to be like a natural natural but also done up this is what i would wear day to day and i don't think it's too much i don't think it takes me too long so we're nearly finished one thing I like to do, so I have um, eyelash extensions, just kind of natural looking ones now. I didn't used to. Um, and I just like to, because they're quite defined on the top, I like to define my under eye. Sometimes I use a bronzer, but it can look a little bit warm. So I've just got this little MAC eyeshadow. I'll find the shade out and um, link it down below. And I just basically run that along my lash line so that can you see that my eye is just a little bit more defined? Not massively, because again, this is day to day, like just working from home, doing the school run, that kind of thing. So the final step is just lipstick. So I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, which is my all time favorite. I don't line my lips Monday to Friday because I really don't want to look too done up and I don't put much of it on. And at the moment, because the weather is a little bit funny i am just popping a lip balm on the top so this is a frank body lip balm which i got in a glossy box and then that is it that is all i do for monday to friday school run so there we are that is my mum makeup routine the products i use on my face uh let me know what you think of that video down below uh 
I do always worry because I'm not the best. I'm sat in front of the window. I do have a ring light pointing at me because it's a really dull day. But this is how my skin looks. That foundation is lovely. And I just think that it makes me feel done up, but I don't feel like it's over the top. I don't feel like I used loads of product. And I am a busy mum of three that needs to get my makeup done really fast in the morning but also likes to feel like I've made an effort. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, then please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and I shall see you all very soon.